Hello everybody! <laughs> How are you on this Sunday? We have muta mutations here. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you on this beautiful Sunday, at least here in Vienna. We just heard and read that it's snowing. Sarah, I can't believe it. I hope you're That's getting incredible. through this. <laughs> Yes, uh, we hope you had a great weekend so far. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Happy it's Mother's Day. Especially to my mom if she's secretly watching, which she does sometimes. So if you're watching, mommy, happy Mother's <laughs> Day. <laughs> From me too. And to my mom, who's probably not watching. But if you do, mommy. <laughs> Good. So... For today, maybe some of you have read the topic, which is walking, balance, decorations, and well, we do a lot of things. Um, there's also a lot which we call timing for like a kind of normal walking exercises that we try to understand how the movement is actually going in a tango walk so we keep stable grounded and strong to be able to react in all different ways and enjoy the music yes uh, for us this is one of the most important most basic uh, things so we really felt like the need to get a little bit deeper into subject working on our stability working on the basics yes I see Basics, a lot of people are writing right now. Sorry. But also, of course, we will try to make it a challenge. So first we go into the basic technique of the walking and we will pay attention to two um, kind of phases of the walk. Then later we will use this to challenge a little bit our technique and put some little foot decorations inside that you might not do in regular dance and we don't teach that very often but we think that especially when you're at home and not dancing so much it helps a lot to improve your balance and a certain kind of muscle group that we like very much and i have made a picture <laughs> <laughs> guess what this is <laughs> okay i hope you cannot so, see that i'm blushing right now <laughs> it's not i didn't have a model for that um, not mine. Actually, Sayaka just gave me a big W and then I put legs on it. So, this is the area that we will work. And inside there is the pelvic floor and the inside thighs. And we will do some training to make that more elastic, but also how to use it and where to use it in our walking technique. People, thank you for all the comments already. Yes. So good to read you. I'm so <laughs> excited. I love when you write comments. So I'm getting totally excited. Um, what will you need for today? Yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, don't worry. We got you covered. Have a book. big book. Yeah. One that you don't like. <laughs> no, one that you are okay with stepping onto it for a moment. Yes. But it will be without... Uh, without feet, without shoes, the stepping on it, I think. Yes, right? Barefoot. So you so, can take a nice book as well. Without further ado, let's get started. One last thing, remember, um, we are still without real work right now because touching, being close is still not allowed. So we are depending on your support. We will put the links for the donations in the chat as always. Feel free to donate whatever you can, whatever you want. We understand that you might be in a difficult and similar situation. Just enjoy the class if you cannot, but if you can, we are very happy and thankful yes. for your support. So. I'll put the link there Thank now you. and later you can scroll through it and get there. Um, and after the class is early enough. So. We see we don't have shoes for the first part of the class, so if you had your shoes on, take them off. We will start right away. Ready? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Sunday, people. Okay. 
First of all, a little warm up for our ankles and feet. Um, we will just put ourselves on the right foot and lift the left one. Make sure that you feel all your weight in your base foot, that your knee in the base is soft and start to roll a little bit your ankle in one direction. Try to get all the areas moving and we do a last one and change the direction. There is no need of beautiful technique now, it's just a warming up for your body as it is. And last one. And get your change your leg. We are on the left now. Soft base, lift the other one and roll your ankle in one direction. We do six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Other side. One. Two, three, try not to move your knee or leg, five, and one more for the last one, seven, good, shake out your legs, we will go a little bit into knee rolls, that means putting our feet parallel and we put our hands on top of our thighs, just above the knee. Not too much weight on it, please support yourself from the center. And now we try to roll the knees on top of the feet clockwise. So that you really feel your weight going through the heel, the side, the front, the side and the heel. We do three more, three two and one and change direction one two three four five and the last one six good And Sayaka continues. We do some jogging on the spot. So we start with one foot on the ball of the foot. Yosha is doing it from the side so you have a different angle. And we're going to lift up and change to the other foot. So one is always flat and one is on the ball of the foot. And we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Control the going down of the heel. We go faster. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And engaged. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Very good. Shake out. In these exercises, always remember the alignment knee to toes, knee to foot. Don't go too much in, don't go too much out. We want to make sure our knee is safe. So keep the alignment. Think of stretching the ankle. And we go. Yasha's doing it from the side, I'm doing it to you. We go down, we bend the knees. We push the floor away, get in a neutral position. Again, don't lock the knees and from there push up and go on a relevé with the heels as high as you can and control, we let the heels come down. And bend, push and up. And down and 
bend, push and up and down, bend, push, up and control down two more times down neutral up and down last time down now right, can we do four more but i will explain something up before that and down sorry okay now we will do four more and we try to use this no marco is not a peach um <laughs> and when you go up on the releve that when you lift your heels try to put this area together and imagine that there is like a fountain of water coming upwards bringing your spine and pelvic floor up okay for the I last to do four like this. <laughs> you know <laughs> last four let's go down and now the fountain comes lifts you engage this area and go up yes down last time okay down <laughs> fountain you can do this face if you want up now challenge lift one leg try Challenge, lift the other leg, try. Very good, both legs. And slowly heels down. Wonderful. Good. Okay. Now. Huh? Ah, we will do, yes, we will do some arms. Just for the spine to wake up, okay? Um, Sayaka will do it from the side, you can come closer if you want, um, and we will do our hands towards the ceiling and we lift our chest, put the elbows to the front so that our spine is curving in the chest area and we put the arms down, shoulders roll, and we do a little hunchback, chin goes down to the pubic bone and come up again. Roll arms open, shoulders open, chest goes up and we look up. And roll the arms down. Chin to chest. And roll the hands up again and look up one more time. Have your knees soft and bent so you can react there, chin to chest. Okay. And we do it very small four times. Hands down, hands up. Hands down, hands up. Feel a relation from your torso to your hands. And last one, down and up. And relax the relax. arms down. Smile, Good. shake off. Good. Now we will get to the first exercise with your book or a yoga block or something. If you have a brick, it works too. Careful Our book you. is called Thinking Slow. Thinking Fast. Thinking Slow. Thinking Slow. <laughs> yes. No, it's not true. Every couple needs clear distribution <laughs> of, um, how do you say? Rolls. Rolls, yes. <laughs> okay. What we will do is we put ourselves with the right foot on this thing, but with the inside of the foot close to the edge of it okay and then we will connect we will stand there have a soft base leg soft knee and we connect our inner thighs knees and ankles inside and now we will just let the free leg 
slide down towards the floor and come up but always connecting the inner thighs so we're doing some inner thigh work, pelvic work don't worry about posture or whatever it's just your legs sliding on each other and the base leg is not bending more when you go down we do two more down and up and down and up and last one good ah, we change the leg left one on this okay close to the edge connect your inner thighs press them together Marco think of what is below the pair and peach. knees together peach <laughs> whatever fruit you imagine potato and then we go down with the free leg and up we caress the inside of the legs your hip will be modified a little bit but don't think it from the outside but from the inside think of this movement inside of your inner thighs two more one and up and two and up good and now get down to the floor and feel how you're standing this is a very good exercise to really get your pelvic floor muscles engaged and teach your body that the axis is not running out there but inside and warm up these muscles a little bit now we make use of it we put our right foot again there and just feel the stability and we let our free leg a little bit longer than the base leg but just one centimeter and let it hang out there and swing it a little bit don't modify your lower back too much coccyx yes. down sit bones towards the ground inner thighs connection this is what we're working here and you can think that your leg gets longer and longer swinging out the hip joint four three two one and done change the leg we go with the left foot on top of this feel this connection again base leg just one centimeter lower than the uh, free leg lower than the base and we swing it eight times and let our hip joint get longer by engaging pelvic floor and inner thigh of the base four three two one and done okay good very good that was already the work with that block it's something really really helpful if you have time free time you just do that one two minutes and you will feel that your whole legs are much more stable grabbing the ground better yeah. and they get a lot of um, awareness and connection with the ground okay so, very good it's time to put your shoes on so yes. grab your shoes now we start working <laughs> So while you put on your shoes, we will start with two phases of the walk, which we consider just for this class now to be important. Yes, there are a thousand or million ways to explain how to walk in tango. We believe it's a very personal matter that depends on your body, on how you work, how you are built, how you enjoy it how you want to express your music yeah. but we want to just show you these two phases that we feel 
are very helpful for everybody, for all the techniques out there. Good. So, ready? We will start. I will show it with the side to you. We will see the transition of the weight from one foot to the other. Yes? So it's like in the beginning, in the middle of the front step or in the middle of the back step. It's the same position. We will work a little bit the ankles in connection with the balls of the feet to be active in the standing leg and receiving in the new standing leg. Yes? So, put yourself in a position like a normal comfortable step position. <laughs> and walk like this. No. So then you're just in the middle, in the center between the two. We are in the center. Connect the inner thighs and your legs are long. Don't bend your knees now, but don't block them. They are long. And now we work from the back leg and we push to get to the front leg. You see my front leg is bending a little bit to receive the weight in this moment. And now I push from the front leg to receive in the back leg. And I push in the back to receive in the front and front to receive in the back. And again, back pushes to receive in the front and front pushes to receive in the back. Back pushes, front pushes. Inner thighs connected. Four more times. One, two, three, four, and relax. Little detail for the proposers or people who have flat shoes. When you are here, Try to still have a contact when you're going forward, still to have maintain a contact with the ball of your back foot. Then when you come back, don't just collapse in the back, but push from the front and receive slowly in the back. Sayaka does the same, but she has also the 9 cm heel on, below it. So that's why she needs to work much more there and in a smaller range, but with if you have not a heel, you use the whole range and try to go down slowly. This exercise is particularly to work your ankles as buffers. So what we want to learn is in steps not to use the knee first and just flat on the whole leg, but to have like this moment of receiving by pushing from the back and reacting in the leg and in the front ankle to then arrive way more secure. Okay? We try with the other leg in front. Uh, I think I had the right front, so... Yeah, now it's the left in Left front. in front. Also, I'm a little bit turned out, not entirely parallel, a little bit turned out so I can connect better through the inner sides, okay? Can you stand there again? Turn out means still that the ball of the feet are in two lanes, yeah? Yeah, so she it's uses, not it's not crossed, it's not on one lane, but it's on two lanes, but turned out. Let's go. Come on back. Left in front. Left in front. So we push from the back and receive in the front. And now push from the front, receive in the back. Back to front, front to back. Back to front, front to back. Center is engaged. Inner thighs stay connected. Remember the red area in the painting. The painting. painting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah. Two more times. Back to front and front to back. Very nice. Good. We do that one more time on both sides just to get a little hold of it because I'm a strong believer of that exactly that point. The moment you learn to control when you activate which leg to receive weight, you will be way more stable in walking, okay? So, don't care too much about alignment of the hip or anything you think inside, like on this thing, okay? Yeah. Inside. 
Let's go. Back to front. Front to back. Back to front. Front to back. Back to front. Front to back. Last time. Very good. And change. And back to front. Front to back. Back to front. Front to back. Sit bones down. Push from the back. Push from the front. Always the ball of the foot. Last time. Back to front. Front to back. And close. Shake up. Very good. And we got it. Now the next phase. If we have the transition from foot to foot. Now would be the transition after from foot to foot through the foot until the next step is in front again. So I will be standing on both feet but more weight on the front, okay? So I'm just a tiny little bit behind my front foot, behind the front ball of the foot. Now I will think of going through that base until here and back again. So we go through the base foot to the front and to the back. Front, back. The axis is not moving as much as the free leg. We do four more times. And go forward and back. And forward. And feel your base. Three back and four back good change the foot now my right is in the front i am almost arrived on the front ball of the foot with my axis but you see that i'm still a bit behind here is around here is my line my axis pelvic floor it's just on the heel maybe okay now we go all the way through the foot, front, through the foot, back, through the foot, front, through, back, and front, and back. Keep your inner thighs connected. Four, three, two, one, last one, zero. And Minus done. <laughs> Second time, remember inner thighs. Do you want to say yes, something? Yes, for the ladies and heels. For us it's very hard to remain on the heel. So in this moment where you feel like the weight should be on the heel, try to stretch your foot to get with the ball of the foot already connected to the floor. So whenever I put my foot down, I roll over the heel, but I try to arrive already on the ball of the foot. So it gives me a lot more stability than having most of the weight on the heel. Okay? Very good. Good. We have the right foot in front, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Weight almost on the right, and we do the process eight times. Through, front, through, back. Through and front, through the floor, back. And five, back. And six, back. And seven, back. And eight, back. Good. We change the foot. The left one is our base now. Oh. And we go. What? I did. Left, right. Sorry. Other foot is our base <laughs> now. And through the foot, front, through the foot, back. Ball of the foot, front. Ball of the foot, back. Ball and of the foot. Three. Ball, ball of the foot. Ball. ball of the foot. Ball. ball. Five. Back. And. Six, back, and seven, back, and eight, 
seven, back and eight, back. Good. Very good. Whew. I feel my feet quite a lot now, and Me too. it should be after a while that you actually understand how to get all your weight down there that you mostly feel your feet. We don't want to feel the knees, we don't want to feel the hip joints, we don't want to feel any pain in the back, we want to feel the sole of our feet working. Yes, and not the bone on the side of our feet but the, the ball of the foot entirely. Okay, so we're going to connect. We had part A, the transition in between from front to back, you remember? And we had part B, through the foot, through the foot to get to the next step. We're going to do three steps in a row, to the front and to the back. Remembering to using the base leg to connect and the ankles to get from one axis to another. We will do it really slow so you can actually feel and understand what you are doing. It starts with A, which is the just the, the foot in front. A. Weight is still a bit more in the back and then you start to transfer. This is A. And now we do B. A. Backwards the same now. So we have A, ball of the foot connected, A is transition, B, A, B, A, B. And we are there. And again. Okay, so now try to make it like A, B, A, B, not A, B, A, B. Okay. Try to find the fluidity. We start with the right forward and we, we have to put our foot there already, otherwise it's not A. A. Good. Now, A, B, A, B, A, B. Stop. Stop. Back. Yeah. A, B, A, B, A, B. Stop and forward. You want to change? Change. Go. Change the left. We are on the right now. Left go. And A. A B A B. Transition through and pause. Backwards. A through. Transition through. Transition. Arrive and pause. We change, right? We had two times from the. Ah, oh, okay. Again, left, left, left forward. Go. A, B, A, B, A, B, E. Backwards. A, B, A, B, A, B. And arrive. Good. Whew. How are you? We hope um, that was understandable. Just a quick reminder, when we had A and we arrived to B, you see that the, my right, this like the arriving leg is receiving it, but it does not collapse everything. So we have a certain bend, but it's still active to allow the next step. So the idea for Yosh and I um, is to create a a walk which is not going too much up and down so whenever you receive try not to bend too much down but don't try to lock the leg so we really are working on the soft joints to create a walk that gives you the possibility to stay on the same line hmm? yes Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do that again? No. no. Okay. I think we're going to continue. Keep that in mind though, because you will need to have these clear processes, the two parts clear. 
Oh, working hard. Very good. Yes, ankles wobble. Please don't force anything. If they wobble, try to let your energy and attention, awareness go through your foot below. Because then the wobbling is then actually helping to create balance. Yes. Okay? Don't uh, contract anything above in order to prevent that. Only thing active could be your center and legs of course a bit but try to really let your feet work on the floor then it gets better in time yeah and mark had a question on how much do i use the heel yes the way back? especially for the proposals of people with not with the high heel when i come back this foot i arrive and now my pelvic floor the base of my two legs arrives on top of the ball of the foot. I'm here. Now I activate this part to go further. So in part B, the passing through, I'm passing through the metatarso of my foot. I don't consider rolling to the heel and then from there falling backwards. But instead, I accelerate now, I use this part to really work backwards yeah your foot can be on the ground but always consider the metatarso the front part of your foot the part where the step starts and finishes no matter backward or forward okay very good we get to the next part what we had so far we will need it again um Yosha will show it from the side, Yosha and Yili here, yes. and I will show it to the front. It's a little bit of an embellishment. So we try to see how the foot from the front can cross and come to the side. And it comes to the back and it crosses from behind. So we're basically checking the positions of the free leg in the cross in front and in the cross in back. Okay, what we need for that is when I cross in front, I have to think of almost like an, okay, don't look at this, but almost like a position like this. It's like the inner thighs when they get together. Because if I don't have it, you have this kind of cross. It's too much. So we want this closer together. Yes? So we have the front cross and the back cross the same. If I think too much out, you see this is happening. So I think it a little more in so it really fits behind the other one. Yes, have it front and back. And front and back. In this particular exercise, when I cross, I go a little bit in to then go out again with the foot. A little bit bending in the knee. In the back and in the front, in the back and in the front, to not have my hips be pushed. Exactly. Yeah. This is very important to think of why we do that. It's not because... because we say so. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> part of the thing, of course. <laughs> no, no. But, especially with the heels, you might have difficulties finding space to come in here. We don't want to push this base leg away by entering with the front leg because like this, see how my pelvis moves together with my knee. Rather, I think of my knee connected with the base foot and it does not move much. But if I want to cross in, I can connect it stronger with the base. And that results sometimes in a tiny little bit of more bend. Yes, but don't think down or up. Let's try with the other leg. We are on the right now or on the other leg? And we do front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, change the leg, front, back, front, back, front, back, front. Back, front back, change the leg, front, back, front, back, front, back, last time, front, back, very good. Whew. 
Well, yeah, we're watching Love Angels and Feet here, right? Yeah, we, and we um, prepared that class, so we've done it like 20,000 times. times, million. So, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's do it in the steps. Okay, let's Good. implement it. So, we will do the three steps forward, like before, and three steps backward. Always we have the face A that is from foot to foot. And then, when starting with the face B, we will say, B and A, B, A, B. So while our way passes through the base foot, we will just add a little embellishment. And you will need to pay attention to which timing works for you personally, okay? We start with the right foot forward. We do it forward and then backwards too. And when we go backward, of course, we cross in the front. Mm -hmm. But you will see. We start in this position, a. which is the beginning of A. Okay, so now it's A, B, A, B, A, B, and pause. We go backward with the left. A, B, A, B, A, B. And pause. Four. A. B. Transition. Embellish. Transition. Embellish. And pause. Backwards. Transition. Embellish. Transition. Decorate. Transition. Adorn. And stop. We change the leg. Left forward now. Transition and belch. Transition and belch. Transition and belch and pause. Back. Transition. One. Transition. Two. Transition. Three. And pause. We go forward. Transition. Ding. Transition. Dong. Transition, bang, and pause, and back. Transition, do, transition, doing, transition, do, and stop. Okay. This is just to understand the process and the timing that we need to do in order to still arrive in a normal beat, beat, beat. Let's do it with music a little bit. Yes. Love yes. It. So we put one song and we try to do it in music so you see the relation to the music. We start slow, we will do it a bit faster, just try to follow along. We will do it with the back towards you so you can just follow us. Yes. As long as Sayaka puts the music, remember these numbers that we say A and B are not positions. They are faces. So from here to here, this is all A. It's A, where my head goes A, and then B, second part, okay? And then you learn this hip hop dancing, I don't know, I can't do it. <laughs> we start on the left, we go forward with the right. Always three steps, and then a little pause. Very slow, first we go with the right. A, cross, A, cross, A, cross and cross. We go back. One, jump, two, jump, three, jump and cross. Four, one, jump, two, jump, three, jump and back. One, jump. Wow. 
cross side. This is important. Isn't it? Standing like side, nothing, front. And here the same. Don't think position, position, but think transition, transition, and position. Ready to go again. <laughs> yeah. yeah? So don't think it's the embellishments of an own firm beat that have to stay there. It's more transition to get somewhere else. Yeah, to be in the time. Good. We are sorry that we. Uh, we took a lot of time. It took a lot of time. We are a bit over the time. We hope you give us another few minutes. But we're enjoying this very much, and we had so much fun preparing it today. And we're doing it and doing it and doing yeah. it all the time. So of course, in the end, we will put it all together. We do the first exercises of just walk with the three steps, and then we do the three steps with a little embellishment. And then later on we do it in double timing and then we go through the back side forward as a fun thing for the yes. end which is a bit complicated but when you get it done and you scroll back in the video tomorrow morning and you do it again and then the day after again then it will be so helpful and you feel very stable and secure. Yes. So are you ready for the last song? If you didn't understand anything of what Yosha has just said, just follow along. We'll do it very clear and slow and we'll be with our backs towards you, so you just have to copy. Okay? Let's go. We hope you're ready. Last little effort. Get ready. Oh, Marcus feet feel massage. Very good. <laughs> very good. Okay, um, we are on the left and we go forward with the right. Three steps, slow, backwards, slow, and then we change foot, forward, backward, and then we do it in double time, and then we add the embellishments. Let's go! Last effort! Here we go! Two, three, four, five, six, we go very slow. Step through A, B, 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 A,
We go back to the left. Five, six, seven. We go back. One, two, three. This is a very slow version. One and two and three. Double time. One and two and three. Nothing. One and two and three. Again. One and two and three. One and two and three. We add the embellishment now. Down front, nothing. Down back front. Back front, nothing. Back front. Down front, nothing. Back front. Down front, nothing. Back front. One back. Back front. Down front. If you go like this, what we like is that like this a natural kind of musicality evolves because you're doing your step and then there's a certain timing where your free leg passes the bass and that is kind of in the offbeat, okay? So you're always having beat, offbeat, beat, offbeat, you know, like cats. There's nothing, never nothing. There's always movement, but that's why it looks like there's no movement. So. <laughs> Sarah just said back cross is not very elegant. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe mine are not, I don't know. Um, yeah, don't worry about that yet. Yeah. We don't do it very often, but we wanted to have the timing. And then when you watch and you want to improve it, you can articulate your foot. Yeah. So in the back cross, for example, you can try to have your heel down, which is kind of a technique, and the ball of the foot up, right? It's instead of doing this, some do this. Yeah. But it depends a lot on how is your stretch in the base. And what we did today is the basic version of working through the base leg and try to do something with the free leg. Yes, and also we wanted to give you all the options uh, and then for you to figure out what suits you most, what you prefer. But any version is very, very helpful for your balance, for your stability. Um, yes. So I'm the biggest, sorry, I'm the biggest fan of this, but not because of the beauty but of the rhythmicality of it, because you always do a step and inside you feel there's something inside, okay? It helps me a lot. Thank you so, so much for being present with us on this Sunday. Um, we hope you liked it. Thank you for the comments that you enjoyed it. We enjoyed it very much. We love our Sunday classes with you. We love the body yes. work. We feel so energetic after that and we hope you do too and you feel like dancing around your living room or kitchen um, and just keep on enjoying and smiling. If you have any questions, comments, anything, let us know in the comment section in YouTube below the video. We are more than happy to answer them. If you have any topic requests, let us know. We love to be inspired and work something out that you will enjoy too. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of the evening. We love you. Thank you so, so much.